All right, fine, fine. No, no, here I am just getting ready to go ahead and try to, you know, respect the wishes of the lost civilization of the Zonai by going over to the shrine and accepting their gift of light. Here I am just on the cusp of about to go over there. And, and you just have to show me a mushroom down a hole that might, or, you know, have some sort of secret inside. <sighs> I'm not even going to pretend this is, this is a hard decision. This is, this is, this is definitely just, just what I would expect of myself. And you know what? That's all right. That's all right. Somebody has to make the really dubious decisions based on wanting to go ahead and find some adventure. Also, potentially find some Koroks. It doesn't look like I'm going to find any down here, though. And now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever found a Korok underground, even though historically I've only ever found four Koroks in my entire life, but still. Huh. And this also looks like something that needs to get blown up. <laughs> okay, not going to be able to do that with my axe for sure. And now that I've gotten the mushrooms, my curiosity is satisfied. And we can carry on with our adventures here on Sky Island. And it's so somber here, now that we have finally started uncovering some of the secrets of... Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, look! Oh my gosh, there's more stuff to blow up over there. Alright, this is getting... This is getting a little too exciting. I'm pretty sure if I am able to go ahead and start putting some of these things together properly, I might be able to blow that cave wide open. So, shall we... Oop, what's over here? Double check behind us, just in case. Just in case anything is around the shrine. And let's carry on with unlocking the next level of our secrets. And maybe learning what else we can go ahead and do. With the powers that we have been given. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think that's ever going to stop being beautiful. All right, my friends, welcome back to our Tears of the Kingdom adventure. And yes, those of you who are participating, no doubt have already gone on to become heroes in many other places of the land. And I know that we're taking a little bit of time to go ahead and make ourselves comfortable here. But I think it's going to pay off. Oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Still very beautiful. And still really surreal. Even though it can do such cool things like move around all of these different materials, I think I would need a little bit of time just to mourn the fact my arm was gone. <laughs> Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. In other words, you're telling me I can finally put my Korok leaf on a long stick, are we? This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse it to a nearby object? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessings from the shrine. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Another new skill to go ahead and tackle. Oh, what beautiful music too. And then, if we have this sword, Rusty Claymore, let me go ahead and drop one of my many wonderful sticks <laughs> that we don't need. And then let's see what I can actually attach to it. Are you telling me I can immediately attach something as big as this boulder? Because I'm really... Okay, hang on. So... Not the stone axe. I don't want to. I don't want to fuse the stone axe. But then, really? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! <laughs> all right, maybe I don't need bombs after all. That was ridiculously satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Oh, oh, what are these? Fire fruit, a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Oh, that's gonna be fun to cook with. And look how cute they are. 
I love the little zen garden that the Zonai apparently grew them in. I wonder... Oh, oh finally! Okay. <laughs> so we can attach materials to arrows. And I say finally because we have found another bow. Oh, I was really worried we weren't going to be able to, like, discover another one. There we go. A little bit of fire fruit. More arrows. And then... That's my old wooden bow. So, we can select- Okay, that would attach wood to- <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright, I think I'm putting the pieces together. And what if I wanted fire fruit attached? Ooh, there we go! Nice! I see, and then we can burn away all of those leaves. And the platform that the chest was stuck on. Okay, this- this is going to be so exciting. <laughs> to be able to create- Oh, there we go, a little small key. To be able to create, like, any tool that I can dream of. There's going to be a lot of leaves attached to things. If that's going to be useful for us or not remains to be seen, but still. I have a feeling it will be. One of the amazing things about being able to explore the lands of Hyrule is that, especially here, our curiosity is very rewarded. All right, my friends, let's wiggle our way through this shrine and let's carry on with more of our adventure.
Definitely still quite a bit of learning to do as we figure out how to fight to the best of our abilities. But what a reward. Truly some of the most beautiful, beautiful statues that I have ever seen. And there we go. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could leave behind for hundreds of years something that could help people? Give them a sense of healing and support. I wonder if that's part of what telling stories does. All right, but for now, that's another one of the light of blessings. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I wonder exactly what kind of strength it is I am seeking, though. At the moment, it's the strength to be a good Korok dendrologist, but now that we have worked our way through the shrine and I have a boulder on a stick, <laughs> we can go ahead and we can start smashing some things open. Not quite as elegant as being around anything to do with Zonai makes me think we should be, but at least we can get some of this done. Good, more arrows. I really need to find more bows so that I can stop like wrecking apart <laughs> the only bow I have and not being able to use my dozens of arrows. Oh, oh, oh. Can't see anything in this tree. Nothing in this one. And let's go ahead and jump over here. Because I think, oh, look at that one. It's huge! If I was a Korok, I think I would be attracted to these kinds of giant trees. And I wonder if that's actually something that they do. Like, do they like hanging out where there's a lot of just, like, natural energy? Oh, look at those guys. That's beautiful. Oh, look at those little birds again! Sorry I keep stealing your eggs. If it helps, the, the sacrifice of your eggs is gonna go to trying to... You know, purge the world of evil and stop a great calamity from destroying everything. I don't think that the demons really care about, you know, taking care of trees. It's not been, to my knowledge, like Ganon's strong suit in any of the other worlds or other times that he's been around. Aha! I knew it! I knew this was a suspicious tree! Yes! Alright, another one! We're probably going to be saying that hundreds more times, but how much fun is it just to be able to find this little guy? Also, I'll try not to eat this on your head, buddy. Enjoy your tree! Huh, I wonder... I wonder if that means... Actually, if I really stop and think about it, does that mean that the giant tree trunk we found was, once upon a time, a Deku tree? Like one of the giant old ones? Because why else would the Koroks be here? Or are they like dandelion seeds and they kind of got scooped up? Yes, I think we're good here. Are they like dandelion seeds and they just sort of like got s scooped up by the wind and dispersed all the way up here? These are the important questions we need to know the answers to. Like, how do you have more Koroks? Are there just a bunch of like Korok seeds that sprout off of a tree and then they take to the wind and spread around the world? Or is it a little bit more focused than that? Also, what's that? Oh, that's one of those birds! One day, my friend, one day, I will know what you are. Today is not that day. Oh, and we could make another sailboat? But where would I take it? That's suspicious. That's pretty sus. Would I try to go over here? Where would that take me? Because this is where we arrived, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then, you know, instead of doing the reasonable thing and going to the shrine, we went and we had a little bit of an adventure. Um, for you, my friend, for you, I'm going to try out my spiky bat for the first time. Oh! 
Okay, note to self, the spikes are extremely effective. So, we'll... Oh, there's more of the birds. We'll try to collect some more of those thorns. And I guess if I could... Oh, I should go ahead and try to make it. Okay, okay. Here's my Korok leaf. If I go ahead and I hold it, let's put it on the ground. Oh no, it's gonna blow away, isn't it? <gasps> okay, let's grab my long stick. And then, okay. If I fuse this with my long <laughs> stick. <gasps> it's so cute, look at it. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, did it actually end up making like a weapon? A Korok frond spear? Oh, that's so cute. It's a straight shape that works well as a lunging weapon. Well, I didn't mean to turn it into a weapon. I wanted to make it into like a fan, but maybe it just was on too long of a... <laughs> it was on like too long of... There we go. A stick to go ahead and become a fan. That's really cute though. Speaking of the sticks and fans though, let's jump back down and investigate this cave. I'm glad we're up to like four Koroks now too. But again, the question of how did they get to this island remains. All right. And we'll break out the boulder hammer. Very nice. Suspicious rock. Bringing you with me. Huh? This is behind a waterfall. I told you. That's where secrets hide. Behind waterfalls. Yay. Wow, where does this take us? This is so fun. Let's see, a fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. I wonder what adding that would do to our weapons. And I thought I saw something on the bottom. No. It would be a little bit dubious if a Korok decided that they wanted to hide on the bottom of one of the floating pieces. Perhaps a little bit unfair, but I could see it happening. Alright, let's see. A couple more mushrooms. Some of the big water. Wow. I, I just can't help but feel like there must be something with these buildings. I don't know if they just were used to help empower the whole island, like stay up in the air. But if I was a Korok, I might hide in there. Or, you know, a lost piece of treasure. Because some of them are different than the others. You can't really see it because it's hiding. Ah, there it is. But what about that one? Hmm. We'll have to investigate. But for now... We need to go ahead and get ourselves up to the next shrine. And that's way over there. So I think I actually... <laughs> I think I've actually ended up a lot further away than I meant to be. Huh. Yeah, I definitely want to go back where I came from if we want to be able to investigate rather quickly. But now I know there is indeed something behind some of the waterfalls. So I wonder if it's worth trying to adventure over to that one and see what's hiding behind it. And I wonder, can I get to... I might be able to get to the other... The other half of the island from over here. It wouldn't be the fastest, but it'll give me a chance to go ahead and search for more secrets. But I'll go ahead and start wiggling and let's see if we find anything. <laughs> 